Anthony Pavarina Pro Wrestling League season to co-sponsored by our men of Black Pair. Mahilao ke trepan, yani ke 53 kilogram dargo kushti ka. Haryana Hammers ki on se a rahi hai. Sweden Mool ki Sofia Matso. Wrestling League Season 2 co-sponsored by Amal Mein Ava and CR Punjab Royals Ki or se aa rahi hai Nigeria Mulki And onto the mat comes Odenayo Adekaroe. For me, the star of this tournament so far. She's up against Sophia Matson, and this is an absolutely huge bout. Sophia Matson beat Odenayo Adekaroe on her way to the bronze medal at the Rio Olympics. But Odenayo beat Sophia Matson in the league stage here in Delhi in the Patanjali Power Vita Pro Wrestling League. And talk about uh, people who make an impact, that was Ishan Sharma, India fast bowler who's there. Varinda Malik, the referee for this contest, all set. Business like at the mat, ready to get this contest underway. A massive contest. The winner of this could well take her team to the trophy. Certainly it's a must win for Sophia Matson. That loss must be rankling in her head. She lost to Udenayo in the group stage. She was very honest after it. Uh, people asking her how she came to lose, and she said, well, apart from anything else, Odenayo Adekoraya is a very, very good wrestler. And she said, she put it that when for the, she went to the Olympics, she was at 110%. She said, I'm very fit now, but I would say I'm 99% in terms of my preparation rather than 110 percent and that's what made the difference i just saw udenayo's coach a little while ago standing on the sidelines but this is an interesting contest remember udenayo is unbeaten in pro wrestling league across two seasons so that's a huge phenomenal record Sophia Matson from Sweden, of course, in the orange. And Odenayo Adekaroya in the dark strip. Uh, Yeni Franson looking on in the meantime uh, from the sidelines, just cheering on her uh, sweet compatriot, Sophia Matson. The referee asking for a bit more action. Uh, the Haryana Hammer supporters are screaming Sophia, Sophia, Sophia from the stands, just trying to egg their team's grappler on. And now, well, 30 seconds of activity time kicks in for Udenayo. She's got to try and score. If she doesn't, then Sophia Matson will be awarded a point. Really cagey one, this. They're two wonderful wrestlers, and the respect for each other at the moment is overtaking everything else. Uh, Odenayo Adekaroye, I think, about to lose a point for passivity unless she can make it tell now. Okay. Yep, the, the Mac judge is uh, waiting for a signal from the side. I've seen one already and uh, there is the one point being shown at the side and it's one point to Sophia Matson. Too much passivity by Odenayo Adekaraya. Tries to go for a single leg hold. Good defense by Odenayo.
And Odenayo has a little weight advantage here. And she's certainly the taller wrestler. And could that prove decisive in the second round? Well, it could. She's supremely fit as well as Odenayo Adekoroye, the grappler from Nigeria. That's the end of round one. And there's just one point that's been conceded that's uh, been awarded to Sophia Matson. While Udenayo is waiting at the center of the match for her opponent to arrive, Sophia Matson was getting directions from Marwa Amri and the team captain Gadazov during the break. Yeah, they've really gelled as a team, no question of that. Uh, the Haryana Hammers. While Udenayo was having a chat with her coach Purity in her corner for the NCR Punjab Royals. With the second round underway in the commentary box, I'm Raman Banoj. With me is John Taylor. And John, well, this bout could very well be decisive for the fortunes of Haryana Hammers in this final. Certainly, I have the feeling they've got to win it because uh, I can't see them winning the final bout. Yes, that's going to be the men's 74 kg category, but that's going to come later for the moment. Let's keep our focus on this bout. Remember, Udunayo was uh, doctor point because, in fact, the point was given to Sophia Matson because Udunayo was showing a lot of passivity in round one. Sophia Matson can ill afford to make that mistake in round two now because if she were to concede a point, then Udunayo takes it from there. Again, it's very cagey, and I think that's going to be a point. Oh, no. She's on the clock now, though, definitely. And that is Sophia Matson on the clock. 30 seconds to make some sort of score. Otherwise, she will be Dr. Point. The tie score, remember, is level 3-all between Haryana Hammers and the NCR Punjab Royals. What a way. What a setup for a final. Midway through the second round and Sophia Matson, I think, is about to be docked a point. She is indeed. It's one all and that, as Raman was saying, puts Odenayo Adekaroya in the lead because she was the last to score. And now single leg hold for Odenayo. Sophia Matson trying to turn things around and get into an attacking position but Udenayo has got a grip on her right leg so no points being awarded by the referee just yet but now can Sofia Matson roll her up on and over or can Udenayo turn it around she's trying to break free from the hold and the Nigerian showing tremendous strength but that scissor leg grip with the legs that Sofia Matson's got will that allow her to score a point Udenayo does manage to break free and trouble here for Sophia Matson. Gets out of it. Wow. That's quality wrestling on display. No point conceded by either wrestler. Wow, a lot of energy though used up. Who's got most left? There's only half a minute less, 20 seconds to go. Sophia takes her opponent down. An incredible takedown and two-pointer with just 10 seconds left. Protest uh, sponges come in from the blue corner, but the another two points has been awarded to Odenayo Adekaroya. Now, confusion there. Well, this is perplexing because uh, two points were awarded to the blue corner as well. Odenayo got two points as well. So the score's level at three each. And there's not much time left on the clock. So this referral could decide which way it goes, John. It could indeed, but I think uh, the blue score was the last score, which could also decide it. Well, I think three points were added. Uh, two points were added for Udenayo's takedown earlier. And then two points were given to Sophia Matson. So now, just the final few seconds to go. The last point was scored by Sophia Matson in the red corner. 
and she will be the victor in case the score remains this and a push out being attempted. No, time's up. Time's up. It was so close for Udenayo. The score's level at three each, but remember, Sophia Matson had scored the last points. In comes the blue sponge again. Well, they might as well go with it because they know that uh, Sophia Matson is the winner at the moment. Three each, what a contest. And uh, Sophia Matson has. There's no question that the end, that the whistle had gone, it was the end of the round before the push out. So if that's what the protest is about, they're going to lose it. Yes, that's exactly what the protest is uh, all about. As Ashok Kumar, Edit Doza is there with uh, Vian Prasood, who is the uh, jury for this appeal that's being logged by the NCR Punjab Royals. Take another look at this. The last point for the push out. Look at Sophia Matson resisting this for as long as possible. She's trying to wind the clock down. There definitely was a push out. But the key question is when did it happen? The time is critical. And you clearly saw Verenda Malik's arms go out to signal the end of the round before she went out into the protection zone. Look at this again. Now keep an eye out on the referee as well. He's got the whistle in his hand. This is when the push out's being attempted. Virinder Malik, look at that. Look at his hands. He's already raised both his arms, clearly signaling that time was up before that push out happened. So did Udanayo get that point after the push out? Look at it from this angle and keep an eye on Virinder Malik. Well, the push out's definitely happened. That's no, there are no two ways about it. But when has the push out happened? That's the question. Well, I'm surprised this is taking this length of time, really, to, uh, to... And there it is. Yes! Confirmation has just come through. It is Sophia Matson. Haryana Hammers are still alive. They retake the lead. And Sophia Matson reverses the league and wins it by four points to three. And the reason why she's won it 4-3 is because another point has been awarded to her because the referral for Udenaya was turned down. So a penalty point given in the end to Sophia Matson, who wins it 4-3. And a very sporting uh, Udenaya Adekaroya goes round, shakes hands with all the judges. They're the absolute confirmation. 4-3, Sophia Matson, the victor. And uh, as she does so often, Odinayo Adikaroye singing now to the crowd. She offers a hymn, very religious girl. And uh, we'll take another break after all that excitement.